Michelle and welcome to my channel or welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be going over some vegan Easter candy to fill your basket with or send to your vegan friends or yeah, that's it. There's not really too much to say, just a lot, some, most of it's vegan food or vegan candy you can find at the store, but some of it is a little harder to find. You just might have to order it, but it's all relatively cheap. And um, without further ado, let's get started. Let me do this. Okay, so I have broken this up into sections and the first one is chocolate. Chocolate? Chocolate! Chocolate! Now, if you're anything like me, the holidays is a perfect excuse to eat all the chocolate in the world. But since being vegan, your chocolate intake is limited. The first on the list is the Linden Dark Chocolate Bunny. And this can be found pretty much everywhere. I see it at CVS, I've seen it at Target, uh, the grocery store. And yeah, it's a pretty simple, if you are a dark chocolate lover, you will love this. And it tastes just like um, Linden's like little tiny chocolate. So if you like that, um, next up we have Moo Free, and Moo Free has a vegan egg cream thing and also a rabbit that they call Rosy Rabbit. So if you like the like Cadbury cream eggs, they're sort of just like that, but vegan. And again, another chocolate rabbit option is Rosy Rabbit. Uh, next up we have the brand Lake Champion. Hey yo, editing Kylie coming at you. So the brand is Lake Chaplin, not Lake Champion. Okay, back to the video. And Lake Champion has these vegan uh, dark chocolate carrots that are really cute and festive and they come in purple and orange. I don't know. Purple carrots are a thing, right? Yeah, I think so. And they also do another chocolate bunny. So again, if you don't like the Linden chocolate and you don't like Moo Free, then you can get this chocolate bunny. I don't think it has a cool name though, but you could always name it if you want. Just what I always wanted, my own little bunny rabbit. I will name him George, and I will hug him and pet him and squeeze him. Um, the next section we have are jelly beans. I got some jelly beans. I like jelly beans. So the first one we have is the Jolly Rancher jelly beans. And if you like Jolly Ranchers, and you like jelly beans, this will not disappoint. Next up are the Warhead Sour Jelly Beans. If you're a big Warheads fan and a Jelly Bean fan, explosion. Next up is the Yum Earth. Yum Earths? Yummy Earths? Yum Earths? Jelly Beans. And these are great, especially if you want a more organic and a sort of healthier or less um, processed option. This is a great jelly bean for you. And I believe I've seen these at Target. Don't quote me. Next, we have the Surf Sweet Jelly Beans, and just again, another type of jelly beans. And lastly, we have the, the Wonka Nerds Jelly Beans. I don't know, if, when I was younger, I'm still pretty young. Um, I used to love Nerds, the little candy, so these are definitely one of my favorites as well. Okay, the next section is gummies, and first on the list is the Sour Patch uh, Bunny Gummies. And I love Sour Patch Kids, so if you're you know, an old vegan, you know Sour Patch Kids are vegan. And these are just more festive because they look like bunnies. Uh, next up we have the Sweet Tart Soft Bites and I think they're called Bunnies and Chicks. Chicks and Ducks. There's something like that, but they're, they're little chewy ones and uh, they're super cute and yeah. I was wrong, they're called Bite Bunnies. Bite. Bites, but Soft Bites Bunnies. Soft Bites Bunnies. And lastly we have the Annie's um, Bunny fruit snacks and this isn't technically a Easter candy but because they sell them all year round but these are super super yummy probably one of my favorite fruit snacks ever and the last section we have is others so the first thing on our list is the sweethearts chicks ducks and bunnies bunnies chicks and ducks I don't know but they're like the sweethearts but they're shaped like bunnies chicks and ducks so they're super cute, especially if you like sweet tarts, you'll love these. And next we have the Skittles Easter egg, which is just the Easter egg that holds a bunch of Skittles. And if you didn't know already, Skittles are vegan. 
And lastly, not technically an Easter thing again, but we had the Annie's Bunny Grams. And those are basically like Teddy Grams, but they're Annie's and they're bunnies. So they're festive. So you can put them in your Easter basket. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed watching. And if you liked this video, be sure to like this video. And if you really liked this video, be sure to subscribe or comment or like it on your other account or make another account and like it. You actually don't have to do that. Uh, so thank you all for staying with me for this kind of longish video, listish video. And yeah.